Speaker, I rise to share stories of real people from Colorado who shared with me their health care experiences so that I might share them with the House of Representatives to build the case and show what's happening in health care today and how we need to change it. One of my constituents, a woman from North Glen, uh, who asked that her name not be used in sharing this story, told me that she's a 32-year-old woman who pays $642 a month for health care. That doesn't even include her prescription drugs, which average $100 to $200 a month. She has a bad knee, so when her COBRA expired, she had to continue her health care plan and didn't qualify for less expensive plans. She only works part-time with her new job. Fortunately, right now, her boyfriend is able to cover her overwhelming medical expenses or she believes she wouldn't have any health care at all. She, has to have, she had MRIs for her knees at $300 each. And more recently, her brain was diagnosed as having too much fluid in it. And she had to have that drained. In the last six months, she said she spent $1,500 just in medical imaging out of pocket. And she can't afford to keep doing this. She writes that if there was another option for me, I would take it in a heartbeat. Please help. Those are words that we in Congress need to heed to provide another option for this woman from North Glen and for millions of Americans like her who are caught between jobs, out of work, and lack care. Through the exchanges that are being created in this health care reform, we're creating a low-cost option for people who are self-employed, for people who are unemployed, for people who work at small companies, preventing pricing discrimination based on pre-existing conditions that would bring health care to people like this woman from North Glen. And it's her that we need to keep in mind as we move with speed to pass health care reform in this body. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.